What is up guys, Pyro6 here, reporting live straight from Blowupville. Yeah, the last video, you guys killed it. 700 views and 70 likes. Thanks so much guys. Now, before the video starts off, I just wanted to say, this video has taken hours, probably around 5 hours to make now, and if you enjoy the video, a like would be amazing, and a subscription would be immaculate. Anyways, this is going to be another good or nah about, you guessed it, Dead by Daylight. Also, disclaimer, I don't religiously play this game. Don't get your pants in a knot if I get something wrong. Now, one more thing before the video begins. I have a goal that, while ambitious, it is possible. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of May. We could do that. It would be amazing. Anyway, into the video. Okay, Dead by Daylight. Where to begin? Well, I'm going to start off by saying it's currently $10 on Steam and $20 everywhere else. Speaking of everywhere else, Dead by Daylight is out currently on PC, Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and even free on mobile. Albeit the mobile version is very limited, it also features full crossplay between all consoles and PC, not including mobile. Sorry, mobile. Now, on to the game details. Dead by Daylight is an asymmetrical multiplayer 4 vs 1 horror game where one player takes on the role of a savage killer and the other four play as survivors trying to escape the killer and avoid being caught and killed. Each round is called a trial. In each trial, the survivors have to repair a set of generators whilst avoiding the killer. If caught, the survivor will, the survivor will be carried to a hook and hung, but your suffering doesn't end there. You stay there until you get unhung by a teammate, like a sadistic freeze tag, if you will. You could try to take the 4% chance of escape on your own, but you only get 1-3 to three tries before death that'll damage you if you don't escape on your own. If you stay on without being rescued eventually, you'll be sacrificed to the- but you'll be sacrificed by sharp spines trying to pull you up to the sky and sacrifice you to the entity. Did I mention the entity is what the killers serve? Once all generators are repaired, a gate will open up through which the survivors can escape. If there's only one survivor left, a hatch will open up somewhere on the map. That's where they can escape from. But beware, the killer can close it if he finds it first. Killers also damage generators if they haven't been completely finished yet. Now, onto the characters. I'm only gonna go over the ones you start off with. So, first off for the survivors is Dwight Fairfield. He's pretty much the default skin, if you will. Basically, when he's close to others, work. Uh, whenever he's close to others, they work better. Him and the people that he's close to. Next is Meg Thomas. Her main thing is that she's fast, real fast. Then comes Claudette Morel. She is able to boost her teammates' morale by being near them. Next is Jake Park. He's decently tough. And that's his thing, you know. Next is Nia. Nia Carlson. She's just good at escaping and hiding from the killer. She's like fast and agile, I guess you would say. Bill Overdeck is another tough egg to crack. He's just, he's like supposed to be, you know, like a military guy that he's just really tough, you know. And lastly for the survivors is David King, who is a high risk, high reward player. Interpret that how you will, I've never played with him. <laughs> okay, next is the more fun part, the killers. Starting off with the trapper, he's the default skin for the killers, if you will. He can place bear traps around the map for survivors to step in, and he moves very fast around the map. He is probably your good all-around character. If you're going to start off playing, try him, because he's pretty good. Um, so yeah, next is the Wraith, who I'm playing in this video. His main ability is to go invisible and 
like go invisible and visible again with the ring of a bell which takes about five seconds for each he also moves extremely quickly especially when he's invisible and he also can't hit while he's invisible he can't attack anyone third is the hillbilly this is another high mobility killer but his special ability is his use of a chainsaw when used on a survivor it will instantly down them regardless of their health oh yeah survivors also have the chance to um revive themselves if they've been downed and left alone without being picked up for like probably 30 seconds or so um so yeah that doesn't really come up very often but it will eventually happen anyway now on to the nurse she is able to warp through objects and track injured survivors much more quickly than normal killers can last for the killers is the huntress you will know she's coming by the sound of her humming she's terrifying she's the first killer i ever played against she throws throwing axes and is incredibly good at well i mean hunting you know and you may be thinking that dead by daylight probably a dead game well i'm here to tell you it is most definitely not this game is amazing and it has a thriving player base ask any one of them and it is at its best time ever right now it has constant developer support new content added every week and is incredibly cheap for the value it gives it's a lot like friday the 13th or in silence if you played either of those games but if you're easily scared or disturbed do not play this game you can also play in a custom game with your friends, complete, tutorial, complete tutorials, do challenges, and buy upgrades for your characters in the shop. There are even perks and abilities you can buy as well, but I didn't go over those in today's video because I don't have the slightest clue how they work. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who has been supporting me recently. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified about every new upload i post so all in all even five years later dead by daylight is a great game for the price especially on sale ten dollars is a steal for this game this game is so good for ten dollars um so yeah with all that said thanks for watching the video if you liked it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and if you have any suggestions for games or series you want on the channel, say so in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I also wanted to say that I'm my next video might be Subnautica. I don't know. I got a request for that. But if you have another request, let me know and I'll do that too. So yeah, we can even start a new series. I recently bought Cold War and I'd be down to play that on the channel too. But just, uh, you guys just let me know what you want. Any guy, anyway... Um, the gameplay is almost over. I figured you might want to see how it ends with the killer. But, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the like button. If you didn't like it, smash dislike. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.